in this video, I'm going to be breaking down what I think might just be one of the best defenses day one of Madden 23. Now, this defense is designed um, to be able to essentially play a Bimba Don't Break style defense. You're going to get great sheds from this defense. And this has been one of my favorite defenses in Madden 22. You can do all kinds of things with this defense. There's so much to teach. Uh, especially when it comes to an alignment perspective that you can do with this defense that you can't do with anything else. But regardless, this is one of my favorite defenses in the game. And I really believe after playing the beta, talking to people, learning about Madden 23, this is very well possible the best defense in Madden 23 that you will be able to run. Uh, because of how effective the four down lineman pass rush is going to be, because of its run stopping abilities, because of its versatility from a coverage perspective, and because of the alignments that you can get from this that you can't really get from any other formation in the game. And that is the Big Nickel Over G. Now, I released a brand new Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook um, about a month ago, and it's been my favorite defense that I've put out all year long. If you want to learn the entire ins and outs of how to run this defense, join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and it gets you access to my Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook. In addition to that, over 29 other offensive and defensive guides. So let's talk about this defensive play. And it's really simple uh, the way that I like to set this up. I actually like to use um, no auto flip. We're going to use baseline. We're going to use play receiver and we're going to use conservative now um, what you want to do here in my opinion is you ideally want your user to be this right of screen linebacker or this right of screen safety so what we're going to do here is we're going to put a safety here we're going to put levante david here and then you can actually sub in a middle linebacker at this right side of the screen um, so we're going to put devin white there and then as you can see we can kind of you know do whatever we want and the coverage, the primary coverage that I wanted to teach in this video is the cover two. And the cover two, I think, is going to be the best defense in Madden 23. Um, you could also use this cover two contain or the SS Blitz 2, but the cover two is really the foundation. And um, we're going to explain why. Now, with Big Nickel over G, you're going to notice that we're going to get some unique adjustments that we don't really get from a lot of formations in the game unless we use specific packages. And this is why I like this formation best, especially for Madden 23, because we're going to be using our slot and our safeties as really, really important players in this defense. So, um, cover two, and the setup's fairly simple. We're going to show blitz, we're going to pinch our D-line, we're going to crash them out. Now, this is the key to getting effective pass rush. And then we're going to take this guy right here, this could very well be my user if I wanted him to be my user. But what I like to, gen as a general observation, what I like to do is I like to bring him down into the box about right here, and then I'm going to click on to this guy. From here, we can set up our coverage. And what I like to do from a coverage perspective is essentially one of these vertical hooks is going to turn into a middle third, and then I'm going to be using underneath. So we're going to put our safety on the left side of the screen into an outside third. We're going to, in this scenario, put our middle linebacker on the left side of the screen into a middle third. And then we're going to put that safety that we brought down into an outside third. This is going to give me the vertical hook on the wide side of the field. If I wanted to Mabel that side, I certainly could do that. And then I like to blitz my user. Um, you're going to want to do that in Madden 22 as well, or Madden 23 to get better pressure. And then from here, what we can easily do is we could do a couple different things with our D line. I think the three down, the three man rush right here is one of the best ways to get pressure because um, you're going to get really good sheds off the outside. If you wanted to contain, you could. I don't think containing the spies are a lot better. Um, so you could easily just do this right here. And this defense is really good. Basically, you just need to work to this short side of the field. So I'm working here and you see how good of a play call um, this is. And what's also really good about Big Nickel over G is if you really look at the, uh, the, the alignment of the players, you can get some really interesting things. Um, for example, I could do something like this, kind of unbaseline it against a compression set, I think is not a bad idea. You see my safeties in the corner still go to the same positions. 
And then what you'll see here is now we're going to get this nice little reroute. You see this outside third? This outside third will play a lot of stuff, and that's why it's such a good zone um, in this game. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about was edge pressure. Edge pressure is really important in Madden 23. You've got to be able to get pressure um, you know, when you want to. So what we could easily do with this is we could do something like this where we put a deep half or a deep third even. Let's just put him in an outside third. And then now we're going to send a pressure like this. And we're going to really – we're still going to be able to get the seam streaks on the right – and then we could just shade our coverage down because we know the pressure is going to come in because we're going to really do a good job of isolating the center. And then we're just going to bail back to the crosser. So as you can see here, you get really fast pressure and you see how good the defense works. So these are some principles. These are some ways that you could turn this defense into a very effective scheme. The other thing that I like about Big Nickel over G is it gives me the ability to play any kind of match coverage that I want to play. So I could play my cover four quarters bring this guy down, throw him into a deep half um, to that side. And then I'm still here with my user. And, you know, we've done something essentially, you know, like this. We've got it. We've still got the three wreck on the field. Um, you know, this this corner, cornerback, you know, he can do whatever. Um, you know, you've got you've got some options here. So anyways, you know, you see how good this 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 this, um, you know, this defense can be. And I'll just show it this way. But you know, basically we have something like this and then if they want to run verticals on us they're going to have a hard time because you'll see the safety on the left will just absolutely bait the crosser and that is again one of the beauties of the big nickel over g we talk about the entire defense in the ebook if you want to learn how to use this defense to bag everything in this game and i think it's going to be a thousand times better in man 23 than it already is in man 22 because now you're going to be able to get the pressure, but you're going to have the coverage. You're going to be able to use those outside thirds. Those outside thirds will literally play everything in Madden 23 um, that are deep down the sideline. Corner routes, crosser routes are going to be a lot harder to complete this next year. And this concept is really going to be something that I think you can use to play really effective and strong defense. And the beauty of this is you can do it all out of one formation and out of one look. It looks the same. It never changes. And you will have a lot of fun with this defense. I guarantee you that. Thanks for watching the video. Again, if you want to learn my entire Big Nickel Over G defense and how to utilize it, make sure that you join our Patreon. We're going to have a ton of stuff over there as well for preparation for Madden 23. So if you really want to get better and hit the ground running when Madden 23 comes out, Join the Patreon for 10 bucks, get you access to everything, including this big nickel over G defense.